Hello and welcome back to the Borderlow campaign with your favorite host, Bazooka Bob. Um, we're here bringing you some Total War Warhammer 2 action today. Hope you all are buckled in and ready for a nice little Albrick campaign we got going on here. I think last episode we had a couple of battles we were able to um, beat off the <laughs> we were able to defend against the top knots and send them packing and we were also able to get rid of Kazarak one eye if I remember correctly um, but both of those invasions into our Bretonian lands are gone Unfortunately, we did lose our provincial capital of Bordeaux um, due to Kazrak One Eye uh, overtaking the um, small garrison that we had there. Um, but I have our favorite um, singer from the 70s headed down. Um, Donovan is on his way. Uh, he's singing some snazzy tunes as he makes his way towards Bordello. And I think he's even, um, I think he's even like right on line to grab a skull reef, if I remember correctly. Um, other than that, we lost, I think we lost the Fae Enchantress during a battle, but we were able to pick up, um, Luin, Luanker, um, uh, the Bretonian faction, um, due to a confederation we had. Um, we also lost Albrick, I think, a few episodes ago, but he is back and ready to go. He's in an army, and he's looking for vengeance on those pesky wood elves um, to our, uh, to our um, east, I think. I think it would be east. Um, but other than that, we are lined up to have ourselves a good episode. We'll probably play this one out for a while, probably an hour, um, just to make it a special episode. Uh, not sure how much recording time I'll have um, over this weekend. I'm trying to close on a house currently um, that me and my wife picked out, and we are in the process of purchasing it. Purchasing it but I am trying to uh, trying to close on that. So. Let me quick uh, cut in here and make sure that the recording is actually going because I've had some issues lately. Um, yes, yes, it is going. All right, so um, we are. My strength okay. and wisdom um, are yours. We are recruiting up Albrecht's forces. Um, we did lose his damsel and she was pretty good if i remember correctly and we lost his paladin but now he is back and he has zach smith from burbank california with him um, so he is more than capable of taking on any force uh, with, the, with the old zach smith um with this force we can't really recruit anyone until we get back border low Blessings of the lady. Uh, we'll be over the peasant economy line. Um, I don't think there's really anything else we can do this turn. Um, I could possibly confederate if someone would have it. I'm not sure where we were at on, on confederation with friends. these other. Let's hope we can probably not. They generally will only confederate Britonia. with you if you, you know have who to a Britonia. whole lot more armies than Valiant. them or welcome if they suffer Britonia. a defeat or are being harassed and it looks like they're going to lose. Um, that's like a kind of an annoying mechanic in Total War uh, Warhammer 2 um, when it comes to that confederation. Um, you generally can only get that confederation going uh, if one of those two things is happening, it's kind of frustrating. Um, I wonder if Lotharin would peace out with me for now. They are at war with Safri, Trace, um, Nagarath, Everlorn. That's weird. They're like at war with all the high elves. 
<laughs> um, you would think they would be trying to confederate with them. Um, I'm not sure. I am quick to anger and he will not peace out with me. So nuts to him. It doesn't look like we can get any more trade from anyone else. So let's go ahead and uh, well, let's make sure. There is a building I can build up here. Uh, I was saving that for this last um, special building that they have up here. Um, the Corone Tournament Grounds. Nations of man enjoy a good tourney, especially the Bretonians, whose knights relish showing off their skills to small folk. Um, crazy amount of income from this special building. It also helps with control, which, as you can see, I don't really need that right now. But it also beeps up, beats, uh, beefs up recruitment um, rank for cavalry. Um, what do I have? Untainted. And it's not getting rid of anything. All right. Well, let's go ahead and hit the intern. I am going to have a um, one of my... Oh, that's a nice-looking army there, Balthasar. Whoop. I am going to have one of my technologies finishing, finishing up, it looks like, on this turn. So that'll be nice. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> I think I was going for um, the building upgrade ones, I think. I had le left the ones that help with chivalry and campaigning against certain um, nations to go after those building upgrade ones. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what I did anyways. Welcome to Fair Britonia, Commoner. Alright, what does Taleo want? Taleo wants me to join a war against. I can't remember the, those guys' names. They're called the something, something clan or something like that. Black Venom clan. Um, yeah, no. I don't even know where they are. They're over here. I mean, I could go to war with them to maybe help against... And it would be nice I could go over and just uh, raise their settlements. How about you pay me, and I'll go do it. You give me that much money. Hey, will not. <laughs> Had to go run a run and grab a drink real quick. My throat was starting to go out. Still getting over this cold that I have during the middle of summer. So, um, no, I will not go into peace with you. I will eventually take your lands. I really want Nostalia. I need to start making my way down there, especially now that I have those armies lined up in that area. Oh, good. The Fey is back, so that'll even help with another army that I can get going. Alright, so this is a technology. It gives me four growth and income from settlement. Things plus three percent. Excuse me. Okay. So let's see. Um, well, I could get that if I'm going to go after Skaven. Doesn't really help me that much, though. Um, I will be fighting against Norska soon. Hmm. Do they not have one for Chaos? Is that what this one is? Yeah, that's what this one is. These are both Norskin, and then this one is Chaos. I mean, I'm not really there yet. They're not really fighting me. Um, I think I killed all the Beastmen in my region, so I don't really need that one right now. Dark Elves, I'm not really at war with right now. Um, I don't really want any more diplomacy with the High Elves. I think all of those um, Bretonian offshoot factions are actually dead. 
Although that one does give me 10 chivalry. So I think I'll stay over here and keep uh, focusing on... That one's nice. Oh. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to head towards this one so I can get this control for province and then that goes towards, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for this alms house, which I don't really care about. It does give me some growth. This one I don't really care about either, um, but it, I'm just headed towards uh, this line over here. All right, so now that we got those cooking, um, let's see. Do you know who I am? Are there any armies in the area? No. Just want to make sure Donovan is safe to go grab the Skull Reef. Glory awaits. All right, we got ten grand in our coffers now, and we also got this Winds of Magic power reserve. I'll throw that onto one of my damsels. Um, the Skull Ship layer laying ominously on the horizon could. Only be the hidden horde of Count Noctulus, the legendary vampire admiral who was the scourge of the seas in his great vessel, the Bloody Reaver. Legend has it that Noctulus' treasure is hidden upon the great ocean and guarded by zombie crewmates damned to protect it all for all eternity. That is, only your fleet until your fleet chances upon its lair. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's Hiking pop out. over here, and then we will resettle Border Low. Um, I can go build this unique building now. All right, so that's going to help us with our income. Um, and let's see what other buildings I can... No other buildings. All right, so... <laughs> um, seek the lady's favor. Hmm. Let's see Honor here. If I glory. leave them go... Mash one finger will be back eventually, uh, but I can't really chase after him. By the light of the lake. Um, what I could do here is Lord actually give them an attack order to go down there and kill them. That is a horribly unbalanced army, there, sir. Kazion de Perovon. All right, so how long till this army is yes. done? Three turns. Um. Who calls? Does that mean I can recruit? Yes, there are two recruitment slots. Um, I think what I want to get with him. I did... don't really need that archer unit. I did lose a... I think it was a Grail Knight or a Questing Knight. I can't remember which. Um... I might grab one of each of those, though. Yeah, that's probably best. So one Grail Knight, which let me see here. The Grail Knights are definitely a lot better. Does he give like any specific buffs to them? Can't remember. Um. Knights of the Realm. Upkeep for questing knights and knights of the realm. Alright, so keep that in mind. Hmm. Nope, not seeing any of that. Hmm. Okay. Um It's just vigor and loss. Cav units. That's not that great. Lionhearted. That's not that great. Um, it's just cav units. Okay. So, um, the other thing he really had was um, Knights of the Realm and Questing Knights. Okay. So, these are Questing Knights. I shall do and what I can. Knights of the Realm. So, Knights of the Realm aren't necessarily as good as Grail Knights, but they will be cheaper. So, for his army, that's fine. I'll just go with them. Um, 
it's not that big of a deal to me. Um, should I get rid of this guy right now? I'm gonna do here is well, I have the time. One, two, three, four. Grab him, it's five. And then I would like to get some flyers. So let's go ahead. Oh, I'm out of money. Huh. These take three turns. So let's grab those. And we will um, dump this uh, other archer. And then when I come back, I will grab two units of cap. Okay, and that will fill out that army. That will be a nicely rounded army. Um, Noble. This one has three flyers and five. Okay. That looks like it's going to be a pretty respectable army as well. Hmm. And then My soon I can get him down that way also. How long is it going to take for that uh, unique building to build? Six turns. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit another intern. Yeah, there's that fancy army. That's a pretty good army too. She's a unique character, it looks like. Hey, and look, there's Luther Haas and Theodore Buckner. Some of those un unique characters from uh, that one mod that I have that brings in like a lot of the tabletop characters. It's a pretty good mod. It doesn't make uh, the units um, overly OP like so many of the so many mods do. That that's the problem with most mods is they uh, just make. Um, those characters that they're bringing in from the tabletop game that aren't in uh, this game and they just make them too overpowered as Grimgore uh, hollers out his displeasure as well <laughs> um, yeah so that um, if, if any of y'all want to know uh, which mod that is uh, just let me know and I will uh, uh, drop it into the comments um, no thank you don't really want to be military allies. Um, yep. Uh, no thanks. Okay. Does look like one of those Bretonian uh, crusading or whatever you call them um, explorer armies is still alive, but. Um, they haven't been revealed to me. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't seen... Um, uh oh oh. The wood elves just got stronger. I'm surprised we haven't seen any chaos come up. Alright, so that... Uh, Paravon is going after that small little top knots stack. Age of Discovery. The Raging Sea God Storm Frells... Storm Fells has gone missing. Perhaps blown too far south by the arcane tempest that is consuming the world. With his absence, the great ocean is becalmed. The Denzians of this world sense an opportunity. It is now no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone. Other powers seek to ply the ocean, hunt for treasure, and expand their empires abroad. However, they must not mistake the calm seas for the safe ones. They are still countless, there are still countless dangers lurking in the deep. Um, all major ports have become made known to each other via diplomacy. Alright. So that Bretonian faction may be visible to me now. Right, so let's take him out of this force march or full speed, whatever it's called. Um, we will hop in here. I'm not well, I guess I could treasure hunt. It wouldn't hurt anything. Alright, Tomb of the Mummy. Um, venturing down into the dank, dimly lit catacombs beneath the ruined city, you discovered an ornate tomb. Knowing that such places often contain the owner's treasures in life, you pry open its door. Inside it, inside it is somewhat oddly bare, except... For a large sarcophagus and an unidentified artifact half buried in the dirt. 
Okay, so leave the tomb, open the sarcophagus, take the artifact, ignoring keeps ignore and keep searching. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I'll take the artifact. Oh, it actually benefited me. All right, so that was actually turned out to be a pretty good uh, um, treasure hunt. Normally, King the treasure Luan hunts like, treat me very unkindly. All right, so I do have two recruitment slots. So let's go ahead and drop in, I think it was Questing Knights and Knights of the Realm. And this army is Blessings not ready. Of the lady be upon you. Um, okay, I think that was really all we had for that turn. Um, let's see. Huh. Protector of the the laws of chivalry demand. I saw this little balance bar, and that is going over, so I didn't know if it was. If they were going to, to be more likely Britonia. to accept a, um, oops, a, um, confederation or not. Um, what was I looking for? Well, all the ports are open to each other, so I'll see if there's anybody else I can trade with, but apparently not. All right, so let's go ahead and hit another end turn, and then this, uh, what am I recruiting him on? Why am I recruiting him through global? I guess because I can't get Grail Guardians all the way down here. Why'd I go for Grail Guardians, though? Okay. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Uh, the Arch Lector is all the way up here. Roaming around in Norska. Yeah. Good luck to you, friend. Please take out some Norskins for me as well. Oh. Looks like Thor Thorgrim or Th I uh, can't remember what how you pronounce that guy's name. He's popped up over here. It looks like they're trying to set an ambush for him. There's one of these random questing armies up here. The laws of chivalry demand. Wolfric. That was his name. Wolfric the Wanderer. Sorry, couldn't remember what his name was. Nordland, I want your land. I want that one little province so you're gonna have to just back away with the friendship sounds nice but it's just not gonna happen speaking of which have I ever done anything with Marienburg I can't remember if I have or not do you know who I am Oh boy, so they're now a lot bigger. Rats. Gorillas in our midst. A network of seditious ne'er-do-wells sows discord in your province and public order is failing. Falling. Seek methods to remedy this before it... Okay. So I, I have um, minus three control for how many turns? Four turns. That kind of stinks. Up here, it doesn't matter because I'm so high. Um, and Neo, Neone, it'll hurt. Uh, actually, there's a rebellion about to happen up there. Um, and yeah, this is the one I was thinking of over here. Uh, so, what kind of buildings? I mean, I could leave this here. I don't know why I would, though. And maybe if I ever had to build something. What kind of buildings do I have available? Um, so I could put in, like, a 
Well, that's just a growth building, I guess. Could put in this control building. Hmm. Does that take away chivalry or give it to me? Oh, I have to use chivalry to construct it. This is the one, if I... If I leave a lord in a, a, a settlement with a brothel, it ends up like hurting, hurting him over time. Um, why can't I build the port, the Marienburg Harbor? Oh, because it is expensive. Jeez, but I get a lot of money from it. Man. That's an expensive building, though. Uh, so maybe I'll get rid of... Um, did I provide any garrison? No. 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 Okay, so... If I got rid of those two buildings, what could I put in its place? This one would get untainted. And it would also... It gives me chivalry if I get up that high. That's pretty expensive. Um, I mean, for now, let's, let's just go ahead and get rid of these two buildings. Um, because I don't really need them over there, and I might be able to get enough cash out of it to um, build up that. And now I don't think I have enough cash to. Tie them down. I do not to colonize Portillo. Gotta hurry, hurry, and actually do that. Um, so let's see what were we going for with you? I could put in this. Else do you have? Hmm, there's some chivalry. Okay. Oh, that's nice. We'll put that one in there. That gives him hit points greater than disabled if hit points greater than fifty percent base. So when his hit points go down, um, makes him immune to psychology, 12% weapon damage, 8% charge bonus, 8% melee attack. That's pretty good. Lord and hero. Um, let's see, probably just make you stronger. Could probably give you some type of weapon. Um, I right, just go with this fencer's blade for now. Make you a little tougher. All right, there we go. And I think the damsel as well can get some stuff. Let's see, casting item. Um, what's this trickster start? Eh, let's go for this one here. Um, some more, more winds of magic. Uh, reserve. Uh, she has some there too, uh, so that's good. Um, and we'll put this magic resistance in case she gets a miscast. Um, okay, so my armies are almost ready to go. Lord of um, put that on him. Let's see. I mean, I, I don't know if I'll ever actually make it over to Nordland. <laughs> uh, I know I've been talking a lot of smack about it, but I don't think I'll actually make it over there. So let's yes. go ahead and open Honorable up some Knights some trade with them. With the Empire um, this fine Auburn town. Man, you have a pansy voice. Um, we'll get some money out of it to hopefully be able to... We cannot. Nope. Hopefully be able to build that building. Um, that, or that... All right. Resettle that um, uh, capital uh, that I 
one and three settle. Um, so that should be enough. My strength and wisdom are yours. There we go. Protector of the realm. All right. So Borderlo is once under my control. Um, I'm nearby Musalan too with my reputation um, precedes me. with Donovan. He doesn't really have a force at all. It's just a couple heroes and one unit of foot squires. Um, let's go ahead and whoops. Okay, issue a commandment. Um, I guess that's good for now. Have to regrow that province pretty quickly. All right, so the vamps are going to war with the Empire, and they're dragging us into the war, and that's fine. And looks like Balthazar is running over there to take on the vamps. Nothing's happened yet in this episode so far. I mean, that other one, we were, had so many battles going on. Um, non-stop battles for the last couple of episodes, really. Now, slow way down to this. I have been going for a while in this episode, too. Uh, hopefully, I can get a um, battle before the episode ends. Wish I could unify all of Bretonia quickly. It's taken me forever to get that done. Alright, some more is declared. Um, steel technology that makes the time go up on how long it takes to um, research something. Alright, so because I left Donovan, or I'm sorry, Albrick in um, Castle Carcassonne for so long. Um, he got unlikely. Whoops! He got this devoted thing. Um, let me look up. Faith is my armor. That. I'm sorry, I didn't have to go to this. Oh yeah, I did. Um. Let's see. Devoted. Lady smiles on those who spend as much time in the chapel as on the battlefield. It gives me chivalry, leadership, and untainted. Alright, very cool. Yep. And that was because um, he has this building. Yep. The Grail Chapel. Um, let's see, I could put that there. Um, first, let's see that Port of Lowe is being built up. Um, looks like the incursion was killed in Musulan by Do you know who I am? Um, Leone. Um, Do you I wonder know if who they I would am? want to confederate? The grants you safe no. no, they would not want to Valiant. confederate. Uh, no, nope. else. Okay. Lord of Welcome to fair Britonia. Oh, now might. is the time to... Do you know who I am? The laws of chivalry demand. Let's see, Paravon is thinking about it. Um, this army's down here. Let's see. Welcome to fair Britonia. Now is the time to. I am no. Uh, I don't really want to sacrifice any money to get that confederation. Let's just wait a turn or so and see if they do it on their own time. Um, Stamsel ranked up. So let's go ahead and keep pumping up Flock of Doom. And then I should probably head towards a province where I can do some recruitment with him. Um, so let's go ahead for now and we'll just jump into Aquitaine. And then with this army. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and drop this in Chain Lightning. Uh, should I take both of them over there? Probably. I probably shouldn't split my forces. Warrior uh, that. King. Lord. Um, we are headed towards the Wood Elves. We're going to take them down. 
Let's go ahead and drop this in here. It helps with untainted and untainted in adjacent provinces. That would be helpful. Um, and it also unlocks uh, Grail Guardians in this province. Um, also provides them as a garrison, which this actually does not have a garrison at all. Um, that's fine. But it'll help us out a little bit with the garrison in case somebody does come up and attack us. Uh, so let's see. Um, can't really do anything else for now, so I'm going to enter. Um, we'll see if Paravon is still thinking about Confederation on the next um, turn. There's like no infantry in that army, Balthazar. He has like all Reichsguard. <laughs> Apparently he thinks he's me. He thinks he's Bretonia. <laughs> Oh. Not, I will oh, so, you down so now scum. that you if see a couple of giant me. armies headed your way, you try and peace out with it. And you're trying to make me pay for you. I don't know what kind of trees they have in your wood elf lands or what kind of grass. But Orion, I'm just going to tell you, you should probably quit smoking it, whatever it is. Okay. So, I might have to end the episode here. Um, or soon, at least. Welcome to Fair Britonia, Commoner. Um, what is this Boris want? Military access? I will if you pay me. How about that? You give me money, and anything is bound to happen, Boris. I want a defensive alliance. I just want money for that military access. All right. The lady grants you safe passage in this land. Looks like the um, no. Looks like the empire is almost totally united, other than Nordland. And Middenland. But they need to get cooking against the vampire counts because it does look like they lost a lot of their land. Averheim, Sterling, um, and Ostermark is gone. So they could come over and just really wipe out the um, vampire counts. Okay, critical failure. They tried to do something on Lewin and they got themselves hurt. The winds of pain. The world yields to those whose masters the winds of magic. Um, great bolts from the heavens scour our souls from bodies. Whilst raging torrents of fire rend the very flesh from the bone. Magic can rip enemies into a dozen pieces or even leave nothing but an ugly bloodstain where once they stood. The power granted by the catechism many eons ago can be harnessed now to bring ruin and destruction upon our enemies all those who feel the pulls of magic feel it grow as the world festers under chaos ruinous gaze their need to ravage grows stronger and stronger by the hour all right so i got a lot of winds of magic um, starting out for all my armies right now so let's see here I got my full stacks over here we are headed toward blessings um, of the lady be upon you. what else let's go ahead and get right up here to the very edge On to victory and we will uh oh we have a big army inbound from clan Skyre. no need my um, warm tokens touch. and it is banning Alright, so let's bring down this small force. My strength and wisdom are yours. Let's go ahead and force march him down. Uh, 
Uh, can't even grab those guys. Right, we'll run down here. Protecto of the realm. Hopefully they don't come after Bordelow because there's nothing there right now. Um, oh, very good. Good job, Trace. Go ahead and keep fighting those high elves who hate me for some reason. Um, let's go ahead and hit another end turn. Sorry, this has just been end turn paradise in this episode. Some, sometimes you can't buy a battle and sometimes you can't escape them. Alright, so it does sound like Mrs. Bob is on her way home. So I probably will have to wrap up the episode here. Um, sorry we didn't get a battle this episode, but sometimes you just uh, can't get them no matter how hard you try. Um, looks like Welcome I am in Fabricodia. good position um, next episode to fight uh, Clan Skyre and um, the Wood Elves. Um, the Wood Elves, I am in a lot better position this time around because now I have two armies marching together rather than uh, just one. Um, it's really hard to go into Wood Elf land without two armies. Um, when you just go in with one, if they are not immune to attrition, um, you will get whittled down. Plus their um, garrisons are so strong um, at their provinces. And it looks like Orion's bringing down an army to face me too. Um, Let's go ahead. We will end the episode oh, no, here glory. after Welcome seeing Britonia. if I will not. Nope. Don't want you to federate. To fair You're not even thinking oh, about it. Glory. Why is everybody going Welcome down to fair in, in favor Welcome towards to me? Fair Lord. What did I do to make you mad? Treaties with the Empire. You're not at war with the Empire. Treaties with Telia, you're not at war with Talia. Okay. Oh, before glory. War against What does that matter? You you're not friends with them. I okay. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so uh we'll go ahead and end the episode here. Um we are lined up to get some sweet, sweet justice with Albrick on Kingsglade and on Orion and on any uh elf that hangs out in these forests um so thank you all for watching uh, please leave a like and a comment if you have any unit suggestions please let them any unit name suggestions go ahead and just drop them down at the bottom uh, in the comment section and i will be sure to put them in next episode until then this is bazooka bob signing out for now